Hi, it's Ariana from Oak Pilates. In collaboration with Dharma Bum Active, I am a qualified personal trainer and Matt qualified Pilates instructor with Polestar. So any of the exercises that we go through, I am qualified to be able to take you through each progression or modification as we go. So today's session, what I want to focus on is quite a lot of um, inversions. So going into shoulder stances and also lengthening and going a little bit more into our hamstrings as well, creating a little bit more range or flexibility coming into the back of the legs. So what I would like to start with actually is what's called the spine stretch. So we're just going to start seated. And I'm just going to ask everyone to decide on two positions. You're either going to go into what's called the diamond position through the legs, with the feet together, knees fold out to the side, sitting nice and tall, reaching the arms in front. And we'll just drop the chin towards the chest and just lean forward, reaching forward to the front of your mat as if you're reaching over a beach ball and then come back up and sit up tall. So this would be one option. So I'm going to lean forward, breathing in. Imagine I'm reaching over a beach ball and then come back and sit up tall again. As you lean forward, don't move your pelvis. So keep your pelvis in the same position. And we're just trying to mobilize you and lengthen out through the spine. This is called spine stretch. The other option is with the legs. We're going to take the legs out straight. So my ankles and knees are in line with my hip. And I'm going to go into that movement again in that spine stretch with my legs lengthened and then taking the arms up as well. Hands in front, breathe in, reaching forward, come back up, breathe out, reach up. So we'll go for two more, spine stretch. Inhale, exhale, step up, reach up. And in front, and lean forward, stack up, and then reach back up. Perfect. Okay, now let's go into a little bit of rotation. Now you can have your feet on the floor as an option, modified, because that gives you some support through your lower back. So we're always lengthening from our lower back to the crown of our head. And then we'll just rotate, just get a little warm up coming into that movement. Breathe out, center, spine twist, breathe out, center. Spine twist, exhale center, one more time, twist, and exhale center. Or join me by lengthening the legs and taking the arms out and then twisting through that movement with your arms and legs longer. So twist, breathe out center, the head moves around, exhale center, one more time, spine twist, and then exhale back to the middle. Perfect. Now bring the feet to the ground. I'm just going to ask you to hug the front of your shins. And then stretch. So scoop the belly in and round your spine out like a C curve. And then sit back up and lengthen the spine. Sit on your sit bones, breathing in. So come back, breathe out, breathe in, sit up and lengthen to the crown of your head on your sit bones. And then come back, sit behind your sit bones, and then sit back on top of the sit bones. Two more. Exhale, inhale, exhale. And then inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Perfect. From here, let's just get ready to come into a bridge. Now, this bridge is called the shoulder bridge, and it will warm us up, ready to go into the inversions that I want to go through a bit today. So coming down, you're going to lie on your back and bring your feet so your heels are close to your sit bones. Laying back here, arms are just nice and long by your side, drawing your shoulders down away from your ears, broadening your shoulders. And we just lift the pelvis straight up and you're threading the arms under so your support is coming from your shoulders, not pushing onto the back of the neck, yeah? And then come back down. So we lift up, breathe in, breathe out, down. Bridge up and then back down. Bridge up, shoulder bridge, and then back down. So let's repeat this another three times. So I like to breathe in, exhale down. Inhale, lift, exhale down. One more time, lift, and then exhale back down. So our next part, what we're going to do is come up, hold your body up here. Now your arms can just be resting by your side, and we're going to, or you can bring the elbows under and scoop the hands underneath the pelvis to add a little bit more elevation. And then from here, Get ready to stretch one leg up, holding there for three, 
two, one, bend the knee, come down, repeat that on the other side. Bend the knee and stretch, hold for three, two, and for one. Bend the knee, come back down, and then lower your body back onto the mat. So, before we move into the inversion, really important to be mindful of where you were, that you were on the back of the shoulders as you were coming up. So we're going to come up again, get ready with your hands by your side. Now if you don't want to come into the shoulder bridge, what you can do is just lift the tailbone and go back down. So just a little tailbone lift, come back down. Or get ready to come up, catch your pelvis, and what we're going to do is stretch your legs towards the ceiling. And then breathe out, bring the legs behind you. This is called jackknife. And then breathe in, aim the legs up at a 90 degrees up towards the ceiling again. And then come back behind. Breathe out. The ankles only need to come in line with the hips. Go back up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come back. And then lifting back up. Now, as a progression, what you could do is move the arms away from your pelvis and aim to reach up again without the support of the arm. And back down, breathe out. And again, coming up, breathe in. Breathe out, down. One more time, check knife. And then coming back down, getting ready to now take your body down. So we're going to roll down through the spine, starting from the back, top towards the bottom part of your back. Now let's hug the knees in towards your chest. Getting ready to guide the legs. What I want you to do is just circle the legs, open them out nice and wide and draw them back in together. And your arms are going to be working with this movement. So open close, open and close. Once you come back together, change your direction, circling, circle and circle. One more time and circle, perfect. Right, so our next exercise is actually called a rollover. So you wanna make sure you've got enough room behind and in front of you to be able to go with the full length of your body. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna move so I've got enough space with my legs, and my legs, I have enough space behind me as well. So you're going to come down here, getting ready, so the shoulders are broad. You can start with your knees bent to roll up. Stretch the legs behind, ankles in line with your hips. Go into a flex foot on both sides. Open your legs out about shoulder width as you roll down. When you get down to the bottom, bring the legs back together. So the back in close, about parallel, and roll over. Stretch, flex the feet, shoulder width apart, and roll down. Legs are straight. Now to make this a bit harder, keep the legs straight, but bring them in closer. Roll over, flex, take the legs shoulder width apart, peel down. Together, roll over, flex the feet, shoulder width apart, come down. Now keep the legs at the bottom, shoulder width apart. We're going to roll over with that position and then come back close together. Point your toes to roll out closer together. Then take them out wider at the bottom, roll over. Come back together, point your toes, coming down. Two more times, wide, flex the feet, over, feet together, come down. Last one to finish. And finishing here to just get ready to roll up. Perfect. So just stay here. We're going to stay, go into a diamond seat. Stay seated. I just want us to do a little rotation. So twisting and looking behind. Come back to the middle. Do the same on the other side. Looking behind. And then coming back in to the middle. Let's go into a mermaid leg. So I'll get you to take your right leg in front so it's in line with your pubic bone and your left leg behind. So we're sitting in what's called the mermaid seat here. From here, take the arms out, 
nice and tall, sit bones down, bring the right hand down first, because the right foot's on the floor, and lean over to the side, breathe out, bending the right elbow. Breathe in, tall again, left arm down, reach over our head here, breathe out. Breathe in, come across, breathe out, sit bones are grounded, come back up, change sides. Now let's change this movement, bring the right hand down and thread the hand in between your thigh and your arm on the ground and then look back and twist. Thread the needle through again, breathe out, breathe in, look back. Last one, thread the needle through and then look back. Perfect. Get ready, arms off the floor and we're just going to change the legs around, bringing the opposite one in front. Sitting nice and tall on the sit bones. Left arm down first, bend the elbow, reach across, breathe out. Inhale, tall, exhale, lean. Inhale, nice and tall, exhale and stretch. One more time, inhale and exhale, come back in to the middle. Now the left hand is on the ground, thread the needle, look back, breathe in, breathe out, thread the needle, look back, last one. Thread the needle, perfect, and then looking back to finish. Now, what I'd like to teach you to finish is called a boomerang, but I'm going to break this down a bit. So the first part of this exercise, I'd like you to get used to cross, um, crossing the legs, going into the spine stretch, like we did at the beginning of the class. Just come up and we sit up nice and tall. Now what you're going to do is scoot backwards from your tailbone and start to peel back towards the floor, breathing out. Then reach the arms over the head. Take the arms straight up, breathe out, and we're going to come up into a roll-up position there and then go into that stretch again, okay? So let's do this one more time. So coming into your spine stretch. Now this time our hands come on the floor. We drag them along the mat and then lift the legs, peel down and roll over onto the shoulders. Lift the legs, roll down to your spine, coming into a roll up and then stretch, okay? Let's do it again. Come down, reaching forward, drag the hands along the mat. Tuck the tailbone under, roll over. Flip the legs over. Peel down. Now we're going to change this a bit here because we're going to come up and pause here. It's called a teaser. Swing the arms and then land there. Okay? That's the boomerang in its entirety. So ready? Let's do it together. Drag the hands along the mat. Get ready to roll over. Flip the legs around. Get ready. Peel down. Coming up. This is the boomerang. Flip the left arms around, land, and come down. Perfect. Two more, and then we're finished. So separate the hands. Rolling over. Flip the legs. Peel down. Boomerang. Flip the arms. Land. One more time. Let's go. Coming over. Flip. And peel down. Up. Flip the arms around and reach towards the feet. Perfect to finish. Lovely. Let's come up. So that concludes the session today. I hope you enjoyed it. There was quite a bit of what we call mat 2 exercises in there to challenge us today. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any feedback, please leave a comment or try and get a hold of me through my Instagram handle is underscore opalates underscore or directly through the Dharma Bum series. I'm readily available to be able to share any information or any assistance that you require regarding the practice. Thank you very much and I really wish you all well and thanks for watching.